get started with the day. It's currently 10.54, so let's say 11, which is way later than I would like to start actually working. But since it's a Sunday and I slept in today, I'm gonna take it a little bit easy. So yesterday in the morning, I was actually going through some lectures that had been posted on Wednesday, looking at the anatomy of the hip and thigh region. And throughout those two lectures, I sort of realized two things. I feel like I've forgotten almost all of the anatomy that I learned last year. And two, I realized that I don't have a good method of studying for anatomy. While I was having all these realizations, I was like, you know what? Let me order something that'll help me learn anatomy better. And today, bright and early in the morning, thanks to the lovely invention that is Amazon Prime, this baby arrived in the mail. Let me close some of the blinds because that's way too bright. You know, I bought a camera and I still don't know how to figure out my lighting situation in order to film properly, not be overexposed, underexposed. If anyone's watching and knows how to help me, leave a comment down below. So these flashcards came in the mail today and I'm really, really excited about it because I'm actually going to start using flashcards. I didn't use them in high school. I didn't use them during my first degree. I always sort of thought, nah, nah, this won't work for me. I'm good with lecture notes. After using flashcards for the last exam and realizing just how useful they were, I decided to go ahead and pick up these flashcards. I've heard very, very good things about them. They also have a digital version, which I, of course, will be putting on my iPad so that I can view all these electronically as well. But damn, this looks very legitimate. This is really heavy, a lot heavier than I thought, if I'm honest and it seems to be color coded and split into different anatomical areas of the body by color. Green, head and neck, because it's talking about the pharynx here. Purple, orange, yellow, what's yellow? Pelvis and perineum. Red, lower limb, that's what I was studying, hip and thigh, and I realized that I don't know. Where do I even start? Jeez, and each one of these cards, let's just take this one out for fun. Ah oh, yes, nice, the popliteal fossa. That's the popliteal fossa right behind the knee. Look at how many structures are in there. Someone tell me how I'm gonna memorize this for my exam. So each one of these cards will have a diagram on the front and it'll have little labels and little numbers as you can see. And then when you flip it to the back, it has a list of what those labels correspond to. I'm just gonna start going through these cards, seeing how many anatomical <laughs> structures I can remember. And uh, yeah, do this for an hour or so and I'll get back to you. Peace. So I've been using these cards for about half an hour now. I thought I'd give a quick little first impression. I think this is actually really useful, you know? The way that they use different colors sort of helps delineate the different bones and makes it just a little bit easier to study. It does a good job of breaking up all the different structures across different pictures. So it won't shove every single ligament, artery, vein, nerve, bone all in one image. So it does a good job of spreading them out across the different cards and I'm enjoying it so far. So these also have an electronic component so that you can look at these flashcards on your iPad. I'm gonna download that now and see if I can integrate that into the physical flashcard studying. Wow guys, check this out. I'm really happy that I got the electronic version. Here's an electronic version of the flashcard, right? So let's say I look at the picture, I feel like I know everything and I've memorized everything. Then you just click on these little numbered areas and it puts everything else in gray and tells you what that area is. So that's the iliac crest. Let's say this is the posterior superior iliac spine, posterior inferior iliac spine, and you can just click on them sort of moving down and it highlights the different areas of the picture. Now I'm gonna test the recall of those flashcards that I just looked at. I'm gonna go into the electronic version, screenshot that picture, import it into Notability, and then write on top of it using my Apple Pencil what I think all those different anatomical structures are, and then I can check if my answers are right or wrong using the back of these physical flashcards. What I've come to learn from my time in medical school is that there is an insane amount of detail. Some of these cards, let me, let me show you guys an example. Look at how many different structures are in there. Obviously not all of them are labeled on this card, but the point is, is that there's a lot, a lot of detail. And I think my job as a medical student, at least for now, is to figure out what's most important for me to learn. And those are the ones that I'm gonna focus on. I'm going to return to the lecture that I did yesterday and look through that lecture, specifically focusing on what it is that we covered. And hopefully everything will make a lot more sense because I was absolutely lost yesterday when we looked at those.
So you know what, now that I reviewed those flashcards, the one I was talking about earlier today, going back through the lecture, everything seems to make a lot more sense. And that's why I'm able to make my notes, my important stuff notes, which I've referred to multiple times in different videos. That's what you guys are seeing right here. And that's what I'm gonna continue making for a little bit. Feeling a little bit peckish. I'm gonna make some tea just for a change because I drink coffee pretty much all day, every day. Now that I'm refreshed with some tea and a snack, I'm gonna finish off the second lecture of the hip and thigh region. And then after that, I can think about what exercise I'm gonna to do today. This is basically my important stuff document that I would make after looking at the lecture slides and taking the most important points, the most high yield content, the things that I think are gonna be important. If I wanna take a look at this at a glance, I can quickly get the information that I think is most important. Of course, also the advantage of using an iPad is that I'm able to copy paste these pictures, which is just super, super helpful. Now, having said that, it's about 1.30 p.m. now, and that's only about two and a half hours of studying. I usually study in much larger blocks, about four hours, taking a small like 10 minute break or so in the middle to get something to drink or a snack. But since it's a Sunday and I don't really have any exams or assignments coming up, I'm just kind of taking it easy, doing some extra review, just so that I can keep things fresh in my head. And especially anatomy that I said I was having trouble with and I knew that I didn't have a good system for. Now I've sort of reviewed those lectures that I found very confusing yesterday and I feel a lot better about that. Now that I have a bit of spare time, the last time that I did exercise was on Thursday, which is a couple of days ago and I'm kind of craving to do more exercise now. I think I'm gonna go for a run. Usually when I run, I run anywhere between seven kilometers and 10 kilometers. So, although I own a pair of Apple AirPods, I don't like running with them. I actually like running with headphones. And that's for two reasons. One, I wanna block out all the possible noise around me and I just wanna be able to hear my music and my own thoughts. And the second thing is I get pretty sweaty when I run as do most people. And I just don't think AirPods are the best sweat proof waterproof resistant things. So instead I just use these old pair of headphones that I have. They do a great job. I'm gonna take you guys along with me using my phone. Enjoy this scenic montage of me running. So I just finished my run. It was about 9.2 kilometers. I'm gonna go shower, get all of this sweat off of me, and then grab some food and get back to it. So I'm back from my run now, guys. I really, really enjoyed that. I love running in Regent's Park because everyone is just doing something different. There's people walking dogs of all shapes and sizes. There's people playing with hula hoops. There's people doing like mixed martial arts. There's people playing all kinds of sports. When you live in a big city and you're mostly surrounded by cars and streets and buildings, it is nice to just go out into a wide open park and have nothing but you, your music, and your thoughts. Me and my sister are gonna take it chill for the rest of the evening. We're gonna sit down and play some video games and bond together. We grew up playing video games. Like back when we were young, we would just play like Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Nitro Racing, Crash Bash. That is how we spent our time together. That is what we like grew up bonding over. So now after we were separated from university, now we live together in the same house. So we spend a lot of time playing video games. We have a Wii, an Xbox 360, and a PlayStation 4. And yeah, guys, I think that's where I'm gonna call it for this vlog. This is my first vlog ever. I'm still learning, I'm still understanding this medium. And you know, this is something new for me. So if you guys have any criticism or constructive feedback, do leave it in a comment down below. Do like this video and subscribe to my channel as well if you wanna see more videos from me. Hopefully lots more vlogs coming soon in the future. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.